Tottenham 2, Manchester United 0. Spurs proving that they do not need Harry Kane to win big games. Man United, though, last season only got one point away at the top nine teams in the Premier League. And it's showing that they could do that again next season. One point in two, two no, three. One win in two games for Manchester United against Wolves, who probably were the better side. Man U maybe should have had a penalty. I think it was a penalty. And probably looked like they should have won the game from the first half. But Spurs bounced back really well and they showed a lot of quality. I didn't put them in the top seven of my predictions, um, but maybe I should have. Um, and they could be top four contenders. A brilliant game against Brentford, saying they had no Kane. I think Madison's really starting to show quality. You could tell he wanted a goal in the sort of last few minutes. I think Tottenham can really challenge now for top four if they put up if they've done this against Man United, who, bear in mind, the top 19s at home against them last season have beaten them. But if they can do this against your Man Cities, who they've got a, a good record of beating, Liverpool's, which they've beaten in the past, you know, on their day, they can beat any team in the Premier League. Looking at what's happened in the last two games, whether they'll flop is, uh, is a question to be answered. I think Hans Postecoglou has done a very, very good job at Spurs. He's incorporated a lot of players, um, given them chances, and therefore they've shown shown quality. I think that Man United probably quality-wise are a better team than Tottenham, um, but away against top nine, as we saw last season, they've not got a very good record. Not many people predicted a Tottenham win here, probably not as much support on the Tottenham side as there should have been maybe. Uh, good. A really good result against Brentford, which showed that they can do this against Man United. Um, it doesn't look like they're having any trouble under Kane. Maybe they would have got a few more goals under Kane, but we'll have to see how that pans out during the season. Some of the games that I think would test Tottenham are the sort of away ones at maybe Anfield, uh, probably away against Man City. They've had a good record there. We know what happened last season when they were 2 0 up. But yeah, I don't like to say it, but I do think Tottenham Hotspur may challenge for top four this season. Man United, on the other hand, they had a really bad start to the season last season, but ended it really well. Could it be the same thing this season? Do they need a bit of settling in? I don't think many of the new players need settling in. Mason Mount knows the Premier League. He doesn't really need to know all the new players. Maybe Onana does, but he's not where all the problems are coming from. They have got quality in the team, it's just how they're going to use that away against the big teams, which will be interesting to see how they do later on in the season. Cheers for watching. Uh, get down in the comments what you thought of the game below. Uh, thanks for listening to the Full Time Podcast. Goodbye.